Welcome to the Aquasol iPurge and iPurgeX operation tutorial. This video covers the necessary procedures for correct operation of the iPurge and iPurgeX units. The most important part in the operation of any iPurge product is to ensure the operator is using the proper flow meter to regulate the inflation gas input into the blue hose. The inflation gas supply must first be connected to the blue hose. The appropriate flow rates for your iPurge model are displayed in the following chart. Please note the different rates for the iPurge and iPurge X along with the different size units. If faster purging is desired, make sure that a secondary inner gas supply is connected to the black hose. If the black hose isn't going to be used, make sure to keep the red cap on in order to achieve the lowest oxygen level. If you wish to monitor the oxygen levels in the weld zone, make sure a secure connection is made to the white hose, which is also known as the exhaust hose. All connections and assembly steps for the iPurge system apply identically to the iPurge X expandable purge blader. After all required input and output connections have been made to the iPurge, you should now position the system into the pipe. Be sure to align the glow tape on the root gap as this will help to prevent exposing the inflatable modules to excessive heat and keeping them away from the weld. Now you may turn on the inflation gas supply to the correct flow rate specified earlier in this video. The flow rate should remain constant throughout the welding operation and should only be turned off when the weld is complete. When the iPurge has inflated to conform to the inner walls of the pipe, Purging will begin automatically as the inner gas will release from the pressure relief valve and diffuser. To expedite the purging process, you may directly pump inner gas into the weld zone via the black purge hose. Welding can begin when oxygen levels have reached a suitable level in the weld zone. When your welding has completed, Turn off the purge gas inputs and wait for the iPurge to deflate before removal from the pipe. <laughs> 